so hello friends uh, today's topic of class is row number function so till now we have gone through rank and then strength percent rank so let's go more deeper so when you gone through then strength we realize that there are more than one rows have same rank this is the main disadvantage of then strength the only difference between rank and dense rank is that one has criteria one has certain gaps depending upon multiple records or rows having the same rank and other doesn't but both of them doesn't eliminate the case of multiple rows having the same rank so there there are multiple practical cases where we don't have to give in the same rank for more than one record let's we are try to look at the some example let's say if you want to know the top 10 most selling products there is a hard threshold you want to know the number of products you want to you are looking at so you don't want to go beyond 10 even if say there are two different products selling for exactly same quantity or amount in such a case you have to take a hard call and put a cup cut off at 10 so it's little biased for the products exactly selling the same but you have to remove them from the list you can take another example it can be a case where there is a car race car race and you want to identify top 3 winners and all of such cases are hard threshold you can't go beyond the beyond that so in such cases you might have given certain order in which you will take care of the inherent biasing in terms of consecutive value but still you know to put a hard cut off set of 3 set of 5 the same we can apply to find out top 5 areas in different cities who is performing well where you can try to understand say gdp growth so or it can be something like sales for a particular company what are the top five areas in each city where you can you are seeing good enough practical growth so uh, one more example if we have to put in a hard cut of way say, say top five top three and if you are using a rank or dense rank you will see that more than one record which has exact the same rank and hence if you put the same filter on the top on it you your and output will be having more number of rows the actual cut off you put how do we solve this to to solve this we use row number function which gives a unique value for each and every row even more than one row have the exact same value for particular entity or particular column we are trying to sort it out so and it will give a different rank to different values this is the main advantage of row number function so if we uh, so what we can see row number function have various kind of advantages over rank and then string and you can use the row number function where you have a uh, exact restriction top 10 product top 3 product uh, whatever the condition you have to see only top 5 top 3 you don't want to see the skipped row like in uh, like in rank if two values have same rank it will allotted 1 1 and then 3 okay so and in a dense rank what is the difference 1 1 1 2 1, it will provide if you see top 3 it will give four rows okay so this is a, a main disadvantage here to short it out the uh, it we use row number function over all the type of rank function is that it returns only unique values so what is the syntax first we need to go to the syntax of the row number function row number function has the same syntax as rank and dense rank have and it is similarly use row number over close partition by expression and order by expression so 
based on the approach now we will go to the practical examples we will uh, see partition by clause in later on in, uh, now uh, in this video in coming uh, class in this video you will see only order by expression so we will use the same uh, the same syntax for rank for dense rank and for the range, row row numbers so uh, from here we will continue in my next week class okay we will go to the practical example for row number we will see the what is the practical applicability of row number in my uh, next class okay till then you have to you have just go through this thank you thank you so much